Update 14 for Elite Dangerous. Some clouds, some Targoids. Is that really all there is? It's a very common comment. I've seen a lot of people ask it over the past few days. Well, the answer is a resounding no. That is not all there is. There's a very much more to it. In fact, Update 14 profoundly changes the game. And this, to put it very simply, is due to the Thargoid War. The Thargoids have arrived in force. Over the past few months, we've seen the Stargoids arriving and traveling across interstellar space, slowly making their way towards the bubble. There's been a total of eight of them spotted. One of them arrived with the update on a Tuesday. Two more have arrived since then. And if you look at the galaxy map, this is how the bubble looks today. We've got three maelstroms and quite a lot of uh, trouble going on, really, all around. And as we look at the new Thargoid War information tab, we can see there's a total of 86 different system states for the current Thargoid War. This is going to expand, as the Thargoids are now fully autonomous. Previously, prior to Update 14, Frontier used to have to manually place Thargoids, but now the AI is quite capable of expanding its own state, moving into other systems and completely disrupting the status quo. Not only will you find stations burning, but eventually stations will go completely offline and be closed, completely and utterly inaccessible. Quite naturally, this leads to one very big question. Just how far are Frontier willing to go with this? Well, here's Frontier answering that question themselves. Unless the players respond to it, the, the, you know, they will just wipe out the bubble. So uh, it's up to you guys. And there we have it, straight from the horse's mouth. Unless players involve themselves with this Thargoid War, unless they get involved with the various new missions, activities, and go out and start attacking and destroying Thargoids, pushing back the war effort, then the entire human bubble is going to be destroyed. How long this takes, though, is, of course, the next question, subject which we have no current answer to and really no way to measure just yet. Further into that very same live stream, Frontier also stated that heading out to Colonia is not going to get you any safety. Eventually, the Thargoids will head there as well. It seems they are completely and utterly intent on destroying all humans and all human civilization, no matter where they are or how they are hiding, and they don't really care whether you're peaceful towards Thargoids, whether you don't want to fight them. They just want to destroy you no matter what. So this really does go back to that initial question about Update 14 itself. The clouds and the Thargoids, is that it? Well, obviously not. It is going much further. It's multi-staged, in fact. Some of this will be determined by players, their involvement and their engagement with the ongoing war effort. But there will also be other aspects to it as Frontier slowly unveil and introduce unveiled, 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 unveil new uh, content. This initially is obviously going to come in the form of further Stargoids. As I said, we know there's eight in total. There's currently three within the bubble. That means another five are on their way. It's equally possible that many more will continue to arrive over time. We also know that there is something at the center of the Maelstroms. I tried to get in there relatively recently in a video you saw yesterday. In fact, I think it was, or maybe the day before. But you saw what happens as you approach the center of the Maelstrom. A big pulse wave will repulse your ship away from the center. Eventually, this will they cause stick damage within the Maelstrom and will destroy your ship. So currently, there is no way to witness, no way to discover what resides at the heart of the Maelstrom. Now, if I was going to guess, I suspect it is probably a Thargoid Titan, or maybe even a Thargoid Mothership. Maybe those are the same things, maybe they're two different things. But over time, hopefully, sooner or later, we're going to see them. Personally, I hope it's on the Sooner card, maybe sometime this month. After all, we are soon heading into 2023, and it'd be preferable for Frontier not to drag this out too long. Now also, you may remember a few months ago, I was hopeful for Thargoid FPS. Now obviously, the Odyssey expansion did introduce first-person combat, but so far that hasn't expanded to any Thargoid-related content. It would certainly be a smart move for Frontier to eventually expand this into Thargoid combat, whether it's on ground bases on planets, or whether on the interior of motherships or something like that, which in my opinion would be preferable, we don't know, and of course that is pure speculation. 
I must admit, I'm a little bit disappointed and a little bit surprised not to see either Capital Ship, Star God Capital Ships, or First Person Combat introduced right up front with Update 14. But with the way that this war is unfolding at the moment with the constant and rapid expansion, anything really is possible. And if just for a moment I stand back and look at this fairly, even without any Thargoid FPS or Thargoid capital ships, this new war effort really is a dramatic change for the game. After all, there are new mission types. Even if you want to not get involved in combat and go out and try some uh, rescue missions, well, there's plenty of options there. It seems then that now, perhaps more than ever, it's certainly worth taking another look at Elite Dangerous, especially if you've been on a bit of a break for a while. And if you want some more specifics on the type of activities to do, then do check out the video from Commander Burr that you can find listed in the video description. Nice little video there that will give you some good pointers on the best locations to head to to undertake specific types of uh, content. In fact, I'll also link a couple of other Elite Dangerous content creators in the video description below, so do be sure to check out all those links. It's a good time to get into Elite Dangerous content because, yeah, there's a lot going on. At any rate, that brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.